Ergy one. This is my very late video entry into Alan Scouser's 300 subscriber contest. Um, first of all, I'd like to say congratulations on reaching 300, Alan. Um, Alan reviews um, horror films, um, a lot of classic horror films. Um, also does collection videos and out and about videos. Um, now, Alan is a bit unique as he, he does review a lot of classic horror movies, which you don't really see that often on, on um, YouTube. And is well worth checking out. Even is the modern horror films he reviews are films I've not really heard of. And it's, a, it's great to get those recommendations. Um, at the moment, I'm in the loft. And as we all know, there's a heat wave going on in Liverpool. I am sweating cobs. So I'm going to try and make this a little bit quick. Um, so anyway, Alan's doing a contest. You've only got till Tuesdays to get your entries in. So if you can try and make an entry, do it now. Um, two easy questions. The first one being, name a scene in a horror movie that made your jaw drop. Um, now this one it is pretty pretty hard, but I, I do remember the, my one of my first tastes of a horror film um, was Salem's Lot. I must have been around about eight or nine when I first watched that. Um, back in the day, it, it was a, a TV series, a TV miniseries that went on over a couple of nights. And the scene I'm talking about, which I think a lot of you would already know, would be the the boy, the little boy vampire floating outside the bedroom window, slowly tapping. Now I think at the time it was it was it was the seventies, I think late seventies. The the special effects for 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 that was excellent. Um, it looked so real. It scared me a little bit to be honest with you, but that's the answer I'm going with. Um. If I could pick a modern horror film, it would probably be The Mist. Um, it's a film that really annoyed me at the end because everyone knows who's watched the film. They start to kill themselves in, in the car and he kills his son and The Mist goes just has, as he does it. I am sorry if I spoiled that for anyone, but it is an older film now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Salem's Lost and then The Mist. Um, the next question, who is your all-time movie actor or actress? Um, now, now, my actor is easy. I had a hard time picking an actress. I'm going to pick both. So the actress I've gone for is um, the star of this movie, Dee Wallace. She was in some great horror movies back in the 80s, um, including The Frighteners, Cujo, which is there, The Howling and Critters. Um, she still makes horror movies now, but they are very low budget. But she is the actress I'm going to go with. I, I was debating doing an actress from Hammer, like, it, like Ingrid Pitt. But I don't think she's been in that many horror films. So I've gone for D. Wallace. Tried to make it a little bit different. And my all-time favourite actor is... Piece of Cushion. Um, I tried to pick films that had his face on the cover. I do have plenty of Hammer movies, but not many have his face on the cover. Um, he, he's just a, he, well, he was just a brilliant actor he gave 110% in every single movie he did um, you look a bit ill in this one but he was just as I say 110% it didn't matter how bad the movie was he always got a good performance out of a piece of cushion Probably the best one up, best um, picture of him on one of my films. So I'll put that up there. So yeah, 
my actress is Dee Wallace and my actor pick is Peter of Cushion. He was just what I believe as well. I mean, I remember watching an interview with Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, and even he said one of the nicest guys around, Peter of Cushion. Absolutely fantastic. And um, for that, he's my favourite actor. Close second is Christopher Lee. And then... No, yeah. Close second is Christopher Lee. But that's it, guys. Um, sorry, it's a quick video. Um, I'm going to leave Alan's link in the description below. Everybody who enters the contest, good luck. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.